Hello everybody, it's Alex and Tuna right here. I'm just gonna kind of show a breakdown of this model I started in ZBrush. I'm gonna do, I was doing Groot, I like baby Groot, so I was gonna model it from, I started it out with Z Spheres. I just wanted to kind of show a breakdown of how I started this model. It's fairly easy. It's in, uh, Z spheres. You get a basic shape. After you get the the shape that you want after you're doing this, because I really like that you can add stuff and take away. You just you can actually come up with a whole new like invader. Is in. So you can adjust all these things in here. Come up with some interesting stuff. Keep messing with it. Like that. Looks like an ant, ant face guy. That's that's just an example of where you can go with this. In case you've never messed with it, this is after you convert it, you'll get a model out of it. Messed it down start playing with the model to get a little bit more detail start seeing shoulders and all the different variations notice they're all kind of organic so it doesn't match exactly the shot to that shot but it's pretty cool to see this is pretty consistent right there and I can see a little bit but you start getting in the model and start getting in there deeper details and this is where I'm at now you get detached parts of the model and from what what I would do is just extract this and get it in there just turn this off you can see I probably masked this part I would mask it out extract it and that's where I'd get that piece from turn everything back on you get this how I started with these parts we'll do a piece right here I'll show an example um, there's some small area if I wanted to take this for example a little more organic I can extract that so let's go ahead and get maybe this piece since it's a little longer we could probably play with this a little bit better go ahead and mask out the area holding control click it doesn't have to be anything too exact kind of see the outline. I'm going to go into here to extract the geometry. The thickness, oh, we can take a look at it. Seems pretty much what I've been using the whole time with all these other pieces. This is probably default. I'll go ahead and accept this. I'm going to clear my mask. Now you got some geometry artifacts. You can clean it up probably using Dynamesh and going from there you can see now the model is kind of a little there let's see something real quick yeah so that's what we got I don't know if it needs more resolution what it's asking me See, longer I think. Yeah. Let's go ahead and clear this out. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why I don't change this. I don't know how to do that. Check this out. So I'm using Spotlight. 
and you have to go in the brush settings to turn that off. I always usually have it off. I thought I put it down here. I probably should do that. It's just I'm not having to search around for this button. Let's see. Do you see it? I feel like um <laughs> blues clues. Everybody's yelling at the screen. Right there. Where right, where? Right there. Up here? No, blues clues. Spotlight projection. Alright, turn this off. Now boom. If you have this on and you have spotlight, it wants to draw texture. You can paint this onto there. It's not what I want it for. I just want it for references. I had another program I used that I found on one of the videos. That program was pretty cool. Uh, I think it called PureF. That's, that's a pretty sweet program I liked. Somebody called it out in the ZBrush videos and I was really surprised with it. So let's see. That's transparent. I'll go ahead and unmask. I'll go ahead and just push this in. And this isn't an exact technique, like how you should do things. It just seems to work for this, since he's just an organic model, and that's mainly a base mesh. So you can just push it in. We can do. We can do with the clay. We will put the clay on the shoulder. Yes. Yes. That's odd. But I don't see it on here. Let's just click it. Yeah, it's right there. Let's go ahead and do this. Like, um, sculpture smooth. You just do your thing. Boom, gone. How cool is that? Sculpture smooth. Just, do you want to erase it? Oh, I'm too big, too small. All right, so, boom, fixed. Now when I go back in here, I've got transparency on here. Now you can go back in and start putting some details on this. I want to fatten it up or whatever. I like to keep it fairly simple when I first start it a little bit. Depends. There's never one way or other way that I try to, you know, play different techniques. That's part of learning, I guess you can call it. You can do different techniques as you go along. It's just part of it. And we could just... be a part of his shoulder muscle. And you can take a look at this other one right here. So pretty much what I'm doing is now I'm going to here and just give it some of that detail that you want to give it. You can chisel it down. You can make it a little more woody, I guess. You can give it some more wood stroke on there. Holding control will drag along the surface. Oh, well done. Get it there. Just like that. And just refine it with some clay build up brush. I usually come in with the damn standard brush right here and just Give it a little more, a little more crease. Just depends on what I'm doing. It'll, I don't really have any references unless I get the movie and play it and then try to figure out what's going on there. That would seem like I wouldn't have the time 
to be able to get that far. With this, I'll just stop. I'll start watching that movie and be like, oh, more improvising. I'm not. I'm close. It's not gonna be exact. It, it's so much detail, and they're they're all varied a little bit. It feels like they're varied, but I don't know. And it's hard to say unless somebody answers that question that worked on it. I imagine they'd have more than one. Why not, right? It's kind of hard surface edge. A little more detail. Right there, yeah. Let's cut it in like a tree does. A little arc. So organic, this character, I thought it was going to be easy, just in and out operation. Three months later. I haven't been able to touch this model as much. I'd like to do more on it. Rainy day, don't really play on outside. Perfect day for modeling. That's right, we're going to model all day on this peaceful night. Nice out. It's nice outside. But it's a peaceful day. Day. Every day is a good day. There we go. See that? And usually, you can go back in, give it a little more touch. Just kind of work it a little bit. Oh, it's not so so perfect. Just kind of get it a little bit. The tree, that's what he does. I don't have any reference for this. I might go a little more with whatever is going on in this Adam's apple area and pull some of that kind of idea to this side. A little bit what I was doing here. I might need to clean this up a little bit better. I think I started it and didn't finish. Looks like, yeah. We start and we stop things. And we come back to these. Just gonna thicken that up. Go ahead and slice this a little bit. Just a little, just a little. Listen to that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fun, fun stuff right here. And then if you see it go through, you can push it down, push it up, depending on what you want to do. I'm kind of from this. That. Okay. Lower geometry calls from the Sculptures Pro, if you're still, I don't know, in this video, will become old and eventually this will be like common knowledge. And will be like, dude, this is old news. I like feel that little tree bark feel. That's what he is, a tree. All these details take a little bit of time. I don't know how hard it'd be to pose them again. It'd be a good challenge. These leaves are created from an insert mesh brush I made. They um, came in handy made them out of the low poly and just made an insert mesh it's probably just from a box let's take a look at it geometry dynamic off and that's all it is low 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 poly because you always can do your dynamic and get a little bit more and maybe if given the time do a little more detail in the leaves too 
or add a texture. Texture would work. I think if I pulled it into another program, I'd be more, I'd be more open to leaning towards the texture. That would be very fun. Or you put this in a substance. That'd be pretty cool too. At some time. That's where it's kind of been going. Just slowly, just making start from a spot and go. I originally had started with the head and started shaping it. When it started out, I'll show you how much off my head. I, I had to reproportion his head back when I first started it. It got a little kind of, we call it like rectangular instead of like that. I don't know what you would call that. Hmm. But yeah, you got that. Proportions were different. So I pushed and pulled, trying to get that roundness at the bottom with the baya. Very fun model, though. Makes me want to watch the movie every time I start doing this. And then I could go back and probably make a suit or I could go back and keep this head and then discard everything else and then build that that would be fun and just have a suit that would be interesting maybe there would be another part to this after I get all these <laughs> parts built out Sounds complex not complex but Gets as many parts as some a mechanical thing. It doesn't. Look at that. So that is right there. Sorry, sidetrack. Bam. Perfect. I can pull it off of him a little bit. Yeah. Let's click on the model and let's mask it off. Sometimes I forget to that I have another mask on the model. Say, for instance, if I was doing this one piece and I forgot to unmask it, it will um, huh, have. Let's see if this is right. Oh, solo. It'll have two extracts. And sometimes that'll make your scene heavy, and you're not sure why you're getting extra geometry and stuff. Sometimes this this would still be masked in, given I hadn't done this indention. I probably would have forgot. And now we could add this. I guess uh, this little roots and stuff coming up. It'd be pretty cool. I hide this, and this will blend into that. We'll we'll go ahead and extract this. Extraction complete. Mask it off. Smooth it out. Probably could even inflate it if I wanted to to make it a little more rounder after I do this to it. I'm gonna go ahead and lower it. I don't really need it that that heavy. I just wanna push it in there right area. There's another thing coming over here, which I'll probably let's go ahead and get that now. So one mask, get rid of that. Mask this part. As it looks like. No. It'll come down there. We'll just extract that. Boom, boom, boom. And then smooth it. And we can grab this. Pick it up. It looks like it's into there. And there's other portion C. We can mold that a little bit better in a bit. I think just for now we're just gonna push and pull, push and pull. Transparency mode is good right here. It looks like he's already in there. That area. Zooming in. We can pull this up. Let's go ahead. 
do that number and then we'll go ahead and start making it a little more detailed it probably doesn't need that much detail and I'll probably lower the resolution later on um, given that it's just so basic of a piece it's not really I don't think you'll notice zoomed out and rendered and moving um, yes save always let it save Oop, too far, too far. Let's go from there. And this piece will be buried into that. We'll kind of drag this down into here, into his leg. You can see. We'll add some more detail to this, give it a similar look. I've been cutting and making it detailed we'll do this right here it doesn't look like it's too detailed but that, it, that reference can be deceiving it might have all kinds of stuff in there and I can't tell so why not why not do it it ain't gonna hurt let me just kind of blend it let's cut it some more you can see that I'm giving a little more these cuts that are straight and sometimes I'd even polish it just to give a little little flatter surface sometimes I really like this plate build up brush though it depends on the part, I probably polish these edges or push them in zooming out just more detail, all that detail, it adds up. It's pretty cool. Just fun. Somebody told you you could get like unlimited amount of clay. <laughs> pretty much as this is. Unlimited clay, unless your computer's runs out of memory, then it, you're you don't have much clay after that. I'm gonna go ahead and Dynamesh, no, too low, too low. Let's let's increase that value. <sighs> See if this works. I need to push some more detail back in, but I, I wanted to fix this inner towards not too too fluffy. Turning on the masking, back face masking would help that, but. Might be okay. Well, it'll live. We're gonna lower the resolution anyway. Now you got pieces on pieces, and I like this because it gives you a chance to focus on one part of it instead of one whole mesh as a whole. I got a little tricky. I started doing it as a whole mesh and got a little little hard to work with dropping it down to a lower resolution and just extracting seemed to be a lot easier than what I was doing. Don't get me wrong, like you can see in here. Let me see if I can zoom in. Zoom in more. His leg right here. See just sm small detail. Sure, go ahead. Just do it on the base mesh. You gonna hurt. Once it starts slowing down like this then it might make a difference Let's see where we're at oh wow and something like this I would almost be okay with um, decimating it or decimation master you can see all the sculptures that I did or better yet you can do a uh, decimate I haven't gotten to that part yet I'll probably do this, uh, optimize this after uh, I stop the video just so it doesn't lock up or anything and end up losing anything. Still want to get the eyes. I'm just kind of view now. The eyes need to be 
You get the iris. It looks so cool. I think once I get a chance, I could put something like that. That'd be so fun. You can just see into his eyes. And he's like, yeah. That could be next. That would actually improve, like, help add some life. I was debating about putting a base under him, like this, like this one right here, and let's see if it can go under, pull this one over here, and building that, that'd be fun, build this little toggle switch, the bomb detonator. That's what I got for now, I'm going to go ahead and take a break and get this stuff. I'm going to optimize it after I pause this and continue the next part of it. Right, cool. Thanks for watching.